What's going on, my friends? I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you're having a good week like always. I want to talk about a few things tonight. I was cut off earlier on my live stream. If you were in earlier and you're back, thank you so much. I was having technical difficulties, but I'm back to talk about a few things. I want to talk about North Korea and South Korea. It's a big historic deal. Uh, the media is, you know, talking about it a little bit. And I also want to talk about something that is really on my mind and also has a huge context outside of just this little incident which is Chance the Rapper, a rapper that I really like and respect, has apologized for literally just tweeting, black people don't have to be Democrats. And he felt the need to apologize. And this is a huge, huge deal. That's why I keep talking about it. This Kanye West situation, it's bigger than just Kanye. It's bigger than just Trump. It's bigger than just Chance the Rapper. This is a real life representation of how crazy the thought police are, uh, how ridiculously fake they are, how ridiculously fake the entertainment industry has become, how cowardly so many celebrities have become, and it needs to be said, it needs to be spoken about, and this is the perfect example to bring it up and, and really just showcase using their own you know, happenings of how ridiculously fake it is. So let's wait about a minute for everyone to come in. Thank you guys for joining. I'm going to post something to the top real quick, see if it pins. As always, you can follow me on Instagram at DreamRare. You can follow me on Twitter at Legendary Energy, and my website is legendary.vision. I also sent out an email if you guys joined my free email list. Check your email, check the promotion tab if it's not in your inbox. I sent one out, I believe, yesterday, and I'm going to collect more emails if you guys want to sign up. It's free. Give me about 20 seconds for people to get in. Thank you so much for joining. James, Crystal, thank you guys so much. I got cut off earlier talking about Russia. I'll talk about that a little bit today, and then we'll enjoy our weekend. So. I need to drink a lot of water out here. The air is just not great. So, as you guys know, I've been talking about Kanye West a lot, and, and the hip hop industry has been in the spotlight politically. And, you know, I know a lot of people say, Anomaly, I'm sick of hearing about Kanye West. He's not that important. You know, get, who cares what celebrities say? That's a big talking point that everybody has. I've never said that, and I don't believe that because you have to understand politically and socially and psychologically the thing that i'm really trying to uh, open up is the thought police and the mind control because i believe just like marcus garvey believed and just like you know many people bob marley you know in between believed in order to free your body and free your soul you have to free your mind if you want to free the people if you want to heal the nation if you want to heal, heal heal the world ooh, excuse me you have to free people's mind and you have to open people's mind and you know that's a huge part of you know, politically structuring everything. So that's one of the biggest things I focus on. Um, and this is a huge in real life representation of the mind control crumbling. Kanye West being an influential hip hop artist and a cultural icon, someone like uh, Kanye and Kim Kardashian. It's bigger than just, oh, they're celebrities, who cares? No, no, no. The mind control that, that pretty much enslaves, in my personal opinion, mentally, our entire country is built upon all of the celebrities falling in line. And I, I've been saying this for a while because it's true and we're gonna talk about it here, unfortunately, with Chance who I like. There's a lot of cowards out there. There's a lot of phonies. There's a lot of people who hide behind PR teams. There's a lot of people who are like, uh, aren't like Kanye West or like Floyd Mayweather that I, I posted earlier that they can't stand behind their words. They don't even feel comfortable telling a simple truth. They have to backtrack. They have to say sorry and they, they fall back in line. So Kanye is someone who's been saying a lot of stuff and he's not doing that. But Chance the Rapper who is, uh, first of all, before I even get into you know what I'm talking about with Chance, Chance the Rapper is one of my favorite hip hop artists out. He's very conscious, he's very smart, he's a very nice guy. Chance the Rapper is one of the nicest rappers out there. His lyrics are uplifting, they're positive, they're smart, they're intelligent. Chance the Rapper is a total great person for the hip hop community and for the children. If your kids are listening to Chance the Rapper, you know that's probably a good thing if, if you don't want them to listen to ignorant hip hop music because Chance is far from ignorant. I love Chance the Rapper, one of the best rappers out and he's doing a number for culture. So I, I always try to lead with the good and the positive. Chance is a great guy. He's one, he's one of the good guys in the hip hop industry. He's a big Democrat, you know, he, he, he's always chilling with like Michelle Obama and you know, he seems like he's, a, he's just a try and behold Democrat, whatever. He tweeted, after Kanye kind of opened up the discussion, Chance tweeted a very simple true statement. And I mean, there's nothing false about this. You can't even twist this to say it's false. It says, black people don't have to be Democrats. That's what Chance the Rapper tweeted. Just that, I'm not paraphrasing it, or I'm not making it up. It's literally word for word. Black people don't have to be Democrats. It's a very harmless statement. He's a Democrat himself, but he's basically saying, 
you don't have to be a Democrat. You could be a Republican. He followed it up saying the next president's going to be independent. So he's basically saying you could be a Democrat. You could be a Republican. You could be an independent. Think for yourself. I mean, he's, that's a, a freeing statement. You don't have to be a Democrat just because I am. You don't have to be a Democrat. I mean, how, I mean, how could you get more harmless of a statement than that? Let's think of other statements that are similar before we move on. If you're white, you don't have to be a liberal. That's true. If you're white, you don't have to be a, Repu a Republican or a conservative. That's true. If you're Latino, you don't have to be a, a conservative. That's true. I mean, any, if you take any race and you take any political party, that is a true statement. You don't have to be anything. So apparently Chance the Rapper got such bad backlash that he, I'm not even going to read his apology because it's just so lame. No offense, Chance, I love you, but it's, it is straight up cowardly. I'm not going to lie. Um, he apologized. He said, sorry. You know, although what I said is true, I'm sorry. I I'm getting away from the real issues and I don't support somebody who's bigotry, blah, blah, blah. I don't even want to read it because it's so corny and it's like three paragraphs. You are proving our point right. You're proving Candace Owens's point right. You're proving my point right. You're proving Kanye West right. You're proving conservatives right. You're proving the progressive Bernie Sanders type supporter socialist right. You're proving pretty much everyone right. Because if you can't even say Chance the Rapper, my brother, I mean, be beautiful person, beautiful soul. If you can't even tweet, black people don't have to be Democrats. If you can't tweet that without thinking you're apologizing, you're admitting that the entertainment industry, that the rap industry, and that the liberal mindset, that the Democrat mindset is a cult. It is a cult. It is not free. You are mentally enslaving your own people, Chance the Rapper. And I don't just mean black people. I'm talking white people, liberals, kids who listen to. You're the slave master. And I'm not, you know, I know you do a lot of great things. And I'm not trying to, like I said, I've been, I've been so nice. I, I told you he's a great hip-hop artist. He's a great person. But what's worse than apologizing for telling someone you could be whatever you want to be? You don't have to be a Democrat. Why would you want to be a Democrat? I mean, are, are you paying attention? I've been a lifelong liberal and I've been very outspoken because it's a pathetic, fake echo chamber of complete lies, complete pandering, race, religion, gender. You can't have a conversation without identity politics coming into it. People don't even know what's going on. You can't talk border security. Ooh, it's racist to want to secure your borders. That's what Syria tried to do and that's why they had so many terrorists come in because they couldn't secure their borders. I mean, we're having, obviously you have crime and you have certain people come through. Not everyone who comes over illegally is a criminal, but it, I mean, it's not racist to talk about border security. It's not sexist to talk about Hillary Clinton not being a great president. It's not xenophobic having a real discussion about the refugees and asking who are these people? Are they good people who want to conform to American society or are some of them ISIS fighters? I mean, you know, lunatic liberals like Justin Trudeau can't even be, oh, ISIS fighters are just, uh, they're just like Italian immigrants. And this is not me exaggerating. This is word for word what lunatic liberals are saying like Justin Trudeau. They're so liberalized and they apologize. Oh, I'm so sorry for telling you the truth, guys. Hi, I'm so sorry. I, I, you can't handle the basic truth so I'm going to pander and I'm going to try to keep my fans because they're all a bunch of brainwashed zombies. I mean, this is the state that we're at. So when you do something that's a very basic statement like black people don't have to be Democrats and you have to apologize for it more than your apology, all those little words you wrote, you're proving our point right that the Democrats are mentally enslaving people, that the music industry is mentally enslaving people, that you think so lowly of black people that you have to apologize for telling them that they don't have to be Democrat. I mean, of course, if you're black, you don't have to be Democrat. I'll say it. I mean, anyone honest should say it. If you're black, you don't have to be Republican. If you're black and you're listening to me, you don't have to be conservative. If you're white or Latino or Asian or Indian or anything listening to me, you don't have to listen to me. Guess what? Spoiler alert. You could click exit right now and unfollow me. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to anyone. You don't have to listen to Trump. You don't have to listen to Hillary Clinton. If you're any race, religion, or gender, you don't have to do anything because I'm not your master. You should live your life and enjoy yourself and drink water and love your family and love yourself and go for a bike ride and play sports and you know do a dance and go have fun tonight. You should do whatever you want because I'm not your master. But for some reason, the fake liberal left and the, the phonies, no offense chance, but you totally lost my uh, my respect here a little bit. I still think you're a great guy, but you're, you're a total coward. And I, I don't say that with any pride. I don't like picking apart people, but this is just such a sad, pathetic, 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 pathetic cowardly act that you're apologizing for saying black people don't have to be Democrats. Do you realize what you're doing? You, you, you're so far entwined in your weirdo ideology politically 
that you think that's a bad statement. That just proves how phony the left is. That just proves how fake the Democrats are. If you can't even say that without apologizing, you're proving our point right. You guys are mental slaves. And I'm not talking, you know, I don't like to use that analogy, but I've been using it for years. You are mentally enslaving yourself. It is mind control. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for saying that you, you can't be a Democrat. Oh my goodness, I broke the law of what I'm supposed to be as a black rapper. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I don't even like talking about race, to be honest. I think it's ignorant when people say minorities and talk, you know, pander. I think it's ignorant because I'm talking to all my brothers and sisters from all races, religions, and genders. I'm talking to the humanity. I'm talking to America. I'm talking to everyone, man and woman. I don't pander or cater to anybody. I, the truth is the truth for anybody. Uh, and I, I try to talk universal truths, but you're so lame. You're, you're, you are the slave master saying, oh, I'm going to teach the kids that it's not okay to tell the truth because the truth is, you know, not allowed to be said. I mean, it's just so lame. Black people don't have to be Democrats. I mean, that's a statement. You think that's an extremist statement? That's showing how extremist the left is. You can't even say a basic truth. If you can't say black people don't have to be Democrats, what else you can't say on the left? You can't say anything. You can't have a discussion. That's why all the smart, intelligent people like Kanye West and like myself and like Dave Rubin and liberals and gay people, you know, people that are gay and people that are transgender. There's a lot of people who are becoming conservatives. And I'm not even saying I'm conservatives. I'm like Kanye. He said, I don't, I don't need a label. I'm figuring stuff out. But that's why everybody's leaving the fake phony left because you can't even say Democrats. You, you, can't, you can't be a Democrat. I mean, what's next? Oh, you can't, uh, you're allowed to drink water. Oh, I'm sorry I said that because uh, the thought police told me that that's not okay to say, even though it's a basic universal truth that obviously anyone could say of any race, religion, and gender would be totally true, but I'm not going to say it. I'm going to apologize for saying it because I'm undermining racism, sexism, and xenophobia because, oh, I can't even have a, an intelligent discussion about thoughts, and I can't have an intelligent discussion about politics, and I can't talk about freedom, and I can't, can't, can't talk about any of this stuff without going back to the same three things that don't really matter. Oh my God, I, I, I don't want my, my statement to be misconstrued. How is it misconstrued? Is that, is that how enslaved mentally that you are? That you think that even saying that? Oh, I don't, I, God forbid you say I like Donald Trump. Oh, it might be misconstrued for I'm racist and sexist and xenophobic. You didn't even say that. And I, I could tell you 20 reasons that people like Donald Trump. That has nothing to do with race, religion, or gender. It has to do with economics. How about a, a fact that North Korea and South Korea, for the first time in decades, are having peace talks. Whoa, the Syrian war is coming to a close thanks to President Trump. Uh, Libyans were enslaved thanks to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Chance says nothing because you're a coward, little buddy, and I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm not saying this to be rude, but I care about people who are literally enslaved in real life, physically enslaved, thanks to Democrats and thanks to neoconservatives, but you don't care because you'd rather pander because you're so sorry. I'm so sorry I said that black people can be Democrats. What a horrible thing to tell my people that they're allowed to think for themselves. I'm going to tell them now, I'm sorry, and hint to them they're not allowed to think for themselves. And that's what happens in the black community. That happens in the Latino community. It happens in the white community. It happens in the American society. It happens in the entertainment industry. It happens in the hip hop industry. They are mental slaves. They are mind controlled cowards. You are all such cowards. The only one who's not a coward is, is basically like Kanye West and uh, Floyd Mayweather. They said, hey, I like Trump. I don't agree with everything that he says, but I see the pros to him and you just talk about the cons all the time. I mean, you can't even say black people don't have to be Democrats. Do, do you think you're like virtuous? I'm just curious because I really, I really love and support uh, Chance the Rapper. I, I take no joy into doing this. I know that he's one of the smartest, nicest rappers out there. But think of, you want to talk about Kanye West, everybody wants to virtue signal. I'm going to get into what John Legend said to Kanye in a second, but you want to virtue signal to Kanye, watch your words, Kanye. You watch your words, Chance the Rapper, because you're telling black America, you're telling the black community, and you're telling the white and Latino kids who listen to you that you're not allowed to say the basic truth if it goes against society. So get back in your little mental slave boxes, little slaves, and make sure you love Democrats and vote Democrats, even if they're starting wars overseas, even if they're, even if they're making up fake news.
even if they don't care that North Korea is in peace talks, even if they want to destroy Syria and start a war with Russia and literally kill the leader of Libya to leave people with slave trade and organ harvesting, that's okay because we don't actually care about people. We'd rather lie to you and say, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Black people do have to be democratic. I mean, it's true, but like, I don't want to say it because if you cross a certain line, then everyone gets mad at you. That's how fake that this, this media is. That's how fake that the entertainment industry is. You didn't even say you liked President Trump, which, spoiler alert, that's fine. You're allowed to like President Trump because it doesn't have to do with race, sex, or, or gender. But you didn't even say that. You said like a low-level thing that's not even that important. Ooh, black people don't have to be Democrats. I mean, duh, black people don't have to drink cranberry juice and orange juice. Black people can eat whatever fruits and vegetables they want. And white people can eat chicken nuggets if they want. And if white people want, white people can even be vegan. Hey, Latino community, did you know that you're allowed to drink whiskey if you want, if you're over 21? And if, if you don't want whiskey, you're allowed to drink a mixed drink. Even if you're a guy, don't worry about the stigma guy. You know, drink a mixed drink, drink a girly drink. You can do it, Latino community. Hey, Asians, did you know you could ride a bicycle out past 12 o'clock? Did you know that, Asians? You're allowed to ride a bike. And I'm, I'm just letting you know, because I'm Anomaly Chance the Rapper, I'm letting you know you can ride a bike. Hey, uh, Indian, Indian community, my brothers and sisters, my Native Americans and my actual Indians from India, did you know you're allowed to have an air conditioner in your house? Wait, wait, wait. Did all that stuff I just said? Hold on. Let me apologize. Let me apologize for all of that. I'm sorry, my white, black, Latino, uh, Asian men and women and, you know, trans community. I'm sorry I told you all that stuff. I'm sorry I told you you could drink what you want. I'm sorry I told you you could eat what you want and live the life you want. I'm so sorry for telling you to be free. I'm so sorry for telling you you have free thought. I'm so sorry for telling you that you're allowed to be happy and healthy and enjoy your life and not live in the victim mentality, fake news, uh, media cycle that literally mentally enslaves you so you never become successful. I'm sorry for telling you all of this basic stuff that anybody knows. I'm so sorry. I know it's true, but I'm going to write a five paragraph thing on Twitter because, you know, racism, sexism, xenophobia is not good. And that has nothing to do with what I just said because I said black people don't have to be Democrats. Um, so I'm going to virtue signal about a bunch of stuff I never said because, you know, that people thought I said it. And, you know, Twitter made a big trending story about our hotels, uh, our hotels racist now. And, you know, I saw the trending topic and I was like, hmm. Are people going to think hotels are racist and I stay at hotels and Trump stays at hotels and Trump owns a hotel and Kanye West likes Trump. So now I'm racist because I tweeted that black people don't like Democrats. I got I to gotta apologize because, you know, you can't tell the truth uh, in, in the entertainment industry. And, you know, I, I mean, I know it's harmless. I know I just said you can't. You can, you can think for yourself, but let me just correct you. No, no, you can't think for yourself. You're not allowed to be, you're not allowed to do that. So I'm so sorry for doing that. I mean, that's basically what you're saying. It's straight pathetic. You're not a good activist. I know you give millions of dollars to schools. That's great. But stop mentally enslaving people. If you have to apologize that black people don't have to be Democrats, if you're apologizing for that statement, you are admitting you are nothing but a coward and a mental slave who is afraid to say a basic truth and you're proving our point right. This is why my, liberals like me who care about black activism, I care about environmentalism, I care about the LGBT community, I care about all of these things. I've cared about them for years. I've been a classic, you know, hippie liberal and I'm disgusted by the pathetic liberals like Chance the Rapper who can't even say a basic tweet without backtracking and apologizing. This is why I like Trump. It has nothing to do with race. He's just not a coward. He's not a pathetic loser. Kanye West, I like him because he's not a coward. It has nothing to do with race or gender. They say what they want. They say what they mean. Whoa, that's so terrible. Somebody who tells the truth instead of telling me the truth and then apologizing to me for the truth. Who likes that? It's not a black or a white thing. I went on the street yesterday. I talked to 10 people and nobody sounded like the media. There were two people who hated Kanye and hated Trump and eight people didn't care. Because nobody, nobody acts like that. It's a total phony, fake news, media-induced like lunacy. Um, and it's everywhere. So I, I really, you know, Chance the Rapper is one of my favorite hip-hop artists. I always, uh, I always tell people he's one, of, he's one of the best. He's one of the realest. But think about what you're doing, Chance. Think about what you're doing. Because if you can't even say black people don't have to be Democrats, you are, bro. You are a pawn. You are a puppet. And you aren't the activist you think you are because even more important 
than educating people because you give millions of dollars to schools. That's great. You know, they spread it around. It barely gets to the kids and they get the same old lectures that they get. School doesn't help innovation. School cramps innovation. So you're not really helping people. I mean, it's great you're giving money to schools. That's great. I think it's excellent. It's, it's better than other people. But if you're doing this to people, it's worth, you give $2 million to school, but then you tell 20 million people that they're not allowed to stray outside of the political norm, you're actually not helping society. You're holding people back and you're mentally enslaving people. It's just straight pathetic. And I say all the time, you don't have to watch me. You don't have to agree with me. Uh, you don't have, you know, I don't, I don't want you to agree with me. I want you to be able to think for yourself. And what Chance is basically saying here is don't think for yourself. Don't tell the truth. Just be fake, be politically correct and I don't know, don't, don't, don't say a basic political truth because I, it might be misconstrued as racist and sexist. I mean, is drinking water racist now? Probably, they probably have a Huffington Post article or like a, a, a fake feminist news article. Did you know that 7-Eleven water is racist because it's blue and when you go to the bathroom, you know, women have usually pink, pink bathroom signs but this is a blue sign and you have to understand this is racist because you know th I mean it doesn't even cover all the genders so I mean this is this is the level of, of lunacy that we're on and I'm somebody that I'm totally open I never make fun of anybody based on their sexual orientation I'm, I'm not that type of conservative I'm not like Ben Shapiro I'm not like Milo I don't do that I'm not hating on them I'm just saying I don't I don't take it to that level and you guys are straight losing me further and further with your with your complete cowardice so on that note I want to get to a, a text message that that Kanye West posted uh, that John Legend sent him. And this is, let's not forget John Legend, uh, Hillary Clinton supporter. He loves Hillary Clinton and, and John Legend loves black people. He's like, I'm the better person than you are because I love Hillary Clinton. Dude, do you even know half of what her policies did? Do you know what happened in Libya? I talk about it all the time. Uh, she basically funded rebels like they were doing in Syria to overthrow the leader uh, Gaddafi of Libya. Gaddafi was giving people health care. Gaddafi was giving people education. Gaddafi was giving people a gold-backed currency. Gaddafi was, you know, keeping stability in the region. Regardless if you think Gaddafi was a great person or not, I'm not saying he was a great person, but even CNN or New York Times will admit that Libya was way better six, seven years ago, eight years ago, than it is today. It's a total mess, thanks to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and NATO's foreign policy. So if you really care about, you know, Africans and, and black people like you, you claim, uh, not only talking about in America, the fact that the unemployment is down, is, I'm not even going to talk about that, but if you really care about that, you would think twice about, hmm, should I support a woman who has literally been more destructive to Africans than pretty much anybody in the last 20 years and just because there's a half black president, should I just follow him off a cliff because he's half black or should I like analyze it and figure out if he's really helping black Americans and, and Africans all over the world? That's not what, what John Legend does because that's what an intelligent half decent person would do. Uh, someone like John Legend, he's a total phony, uh, you know, he makes great music too but i mean he's a thousand times worse than chance the rapper total total uh sh wolf in sheep's clothing he texts kanye west even though he supports hillary clinton like shamelessly he thinks it's the greatest thing that he's a democrat and that's fine i'm not saying to not be unlike chance the rapper i'm gonna let you know hey everybody you can be anybody you want i don't care what you be because you're your own person and i don't control you whoa what a controversial statement anomaly said we're free to do whatever we like oh my god what a bad person we should enslave ourselves mentally and then act like we're heroes anyway so john legend has the nerve to tweet kanye west he says as you know what you say really means something to your fans just like it does when you do, John Legend, and mislead people into Hillary Clinton's hands. They are loyal to you, and they respect your opinion. So many people who love you feel so betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause, especially to people of color. Does this guy own a mirror? I'm going to reread that part back. John Legend. I don't even like talk. I, I, I get no joy in talking about people. I, I hate to be a critic. I like to focus on myself. I like to tell my audience, you know, don't hate on other people. I don't have any hate in my heart. I really don't. I, I love everybody. I have no enemies. I'm more focused on myself and I need to better myself. I'm not worried about it, what other people are doing. I don't, like, other people have fun making fun of people. I, I take no joy in this. This hurts my heart to do this. But do you own a, a mirror, John Legend? I'm going to reread it back. He said, so many people who love you feel so, this is him talking to Kanye West. John Legend talking to Kanye West. So many people who love you feel so betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause, especially to people of color. 
John Legend, do you know the policies of Hillary Clinton? What they did to people of color? You campaigned for him, dum-dum. You campaigned for her. I mean, Google Libya. Hillary Clinton, Libya. Google uh, Libya, Obama. Google Gaddafi. I mean, literally, duck, duck, go or bing. I don't really care. Do you know? you? It's not like you voted for Jill Stein or you voted for, uh, you know, Roseanne or something or Gary Johnson. You campaigned for Hillary Clinton. Do you know? Do you know what her policies did to people of color? Because I don't think you do. If you're texting John, like you have, and this is the part that bothers me the most about modern day liberals, they have no self-awareness. I'm not saying conservatives are, perf are perfect. Some people annoy me too, okay? A lot of conservatives annoy me too. Just being honest, m most of them are, are very nice to me, but I, I don't generalize people anyway. I just like good people. I don't care if people are liberal. Or, I have friends from all political spectrums and I love them all, but there's no shame and there's no self-awareness on the liberal side anymore. And they, they act like they're so virtuous and they're so much better than you. Do you know what the person that you supported did for people of color? Because you clearly don't. If you're texting Kanye West, you freaking dummy. I mean, how ignorant and, and lack of self-awareness these people do the opposite of what I do. The message that I preach is, on a root level, I say to change the world... And this isn't me saying it. I'm not like a revolutionary. I didn't make this up. I mean, pretty much any decent person in history has said this, like from Bob Marley to Gandhi to pretty much anybody, Michael Jackson. Um, change yourself to change the world. You can't make the world better if you're a scumbag misleading millions of people. You can't tell other people how to live if you don't even live right yourself. That's why I don't tell people how to live. I say, focus on yourself. You know, I might seem great because I'm on the camera, you know, it's talking really than everybody else, but I'm not that great. I mean, they set the bar so low for me. All I have to do is sit on my couch and say a few honest things and I'm already better than 99.9% .9 of news analysts. I'm not that special. I'm not telling you to be like me. I'm saying I need to get off here and go focus on my life. I need to change myself to change the world. I need to heal myself to heal the world. We need to help ourselves and focus on ourselves. John Legend and this liberal uh, mob mentality they have no self-awareness. They spend all their hours worrying about what everyone else is doing and it's, it's gotten to the point where they're literally the biggest hypocrites and it's hard to be wrong about everything but ideologically and po politically, it's like they're wrong about everything. Every single thing they say, they do it. Ooh, do you know what his people did to people of color? I mean, dude, you, you're, you're at Hillary Clinton rallies like waving flags and stuff, you, you, you total hypocrite moron. Uh, don't let this be a part of your legacy. You're the greatest artist of our generation. So this is John Legend's uh, text. He says, so many people who love you feel so betrayed right now because they know the harm that Trump's policies cause. This dude is just so unselfaware. I'm sorry. Um, especially to people of color. Don't let this be part of your legacy. You're the greatest artist of your, our generation. So Kanye West has a really great um, answer to this. He says, I love you, John, and I appreciate your thoughts. You bringing up my fans or my legacy is a tactic based on fear used to my, manipulate my free thought. I'm going to read that again. He said, I love you, John, and I appreciate your thoughts. You bringing up my fans and my legacy is a tactic based on fear to manipulate my free thought. And that's totally true. John Legend is totally unself-aware. He doesn't care about himself. He doesn't care about what his policies and his mindset. I wonder how many lives he's destroyed uh, campaigning for phony politicians who do nothing for people of color. I wonder, and anybody for that matter, I wonder how much pain he has caused for pushing this angry victim mentality onto people when him and his wife are multi-millionaires living the American dream as people of color, literally more wealthy and successful than me. I mean, he's so light, I'm almost darker than him. It doesn't even matter, but I mean, the dude lives the life. He sings songs to women. Everybody loves him. Like, what are you so mad about, bro? How many people's lives has he ruined pushing this weak mentality instead of telling people, hey, if you have a cell phone, you can get out of any situation in the world. If you work hard, you know what I'm saying, and get around the right people, you, you can do stuff. I mean, he doesn't empower his people. He just totally weakens his people. So, um, you know, he, John Legend responded, think freely, think with empathy and think context too. Your words and actions have consequences, much love. You know, uh, Kanye put him on blast and, and tweeted it, but uh, Kanye said, you know, I just want to show people what it's about. So on the same topic as the Chance the Rapper thing, 
This is like the, the guilt tactic and the mob mentality that is leading people like Kanye West, that's leading people like myself away from Democrats and away from all these phony celebrity culture virtue signaling, I'm holier than thou people who are literally just totally not honest, they're totally not real, they're totally not helping anybody of any race, religion, and gender. All they know how to do is pander and hide behind PR teams and apologize for telling the truth because it offends somebody. It's just so straight embarrassing. And it's proving our point right. Because you're not allowed to tell the truth and be in this little group. You're not allowed to keep it real and be in this little group. They close off every discussion and it's even in science when it comes to things like climate change and it comes to things like the moon and it comes to other things. I don't know the truth, but I learn by asking questions and I learn by listening to people and I learn by hearing how they respond. And when you talk to people about science or you talk to people about climate change or you talk to people about the moon or you talk to people about President Trump and you talk to people about basically anything, they don't answer with facts like they claim they do. They don't answer with science like they, oh, I'm a scientist. Okay, well then give me facts and science. They don't do that what the liberals have been doing, and I'm not saying this to be mean, or I, like I said, conservatives are totally annoying too. I could, you know, I, 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 I called them out on Twitter today, not all conservatives, but certain conservatives who are being obnoxious, I, I'll call it both ways. I'm not picking on liberals, but what I am saying is, they've gotten so cocky and so arrogant and so lack of self-aware that they don't even use facts or science anymore. They claim to be the biggest scientists, but they just shame you. That's all they know how to do is shame you. They know how to use fear tactics. They blame you. They hate on you. I mean, that's all modern day liberals do. And I've been waiting for two years. I didn't even vote for Donald Trump. I've said this a million times because it's true. If I voted for him, I would have said it, but I didn't. But I was listening the whole election to why people like Hillary Clinton. And I listen to the opposition of Trump. And I listen to the opposition of Kanye West. And guess what? Kanye West makes better points than his opposition. Donald Trump makes better points than his opposition. Pretty much everybody that on the conservative side and conservative journalists make better points than liberal journalists. And you know how liberals respond? They don't respond eloquently with facts and knowledge and information and a wealth of kindness. They act with meanness bullying, shameness, and a complete lack of facts and science. They say, oh, how dare you not believe with me? I'm going to destroy you. You don't have the ability to think that way. I'm so sorry for telling you that you don't have to agree with me. I mean, I say it every, pot, every, every live stream, you don't have to agree with me. Chance the Rapper tweets it one time and he has to apologize for it. That just shows how cowardly the liberal Democrat left is. That just shows how cowardly the entertainment industry is. That you can't even say... You don't have to do what I do without apologizing. You're proving me right. You're proving Candace Owens and Kanye West and Donald Trump and all the conservatives and libertarians and liberals like myself who are sick and tired of it. I get messages all the time and people follow me that are classic liberals. They're vegans. They love the economy or the, uh, you know, I mean the environment, pro hopefully the economy too, you know, and they're classic liberals and they keep following me and be like, dude, I'm not going to tell my friends. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want them to attack me like John Legend or Kanye West, I mean, or Chance the Rapper, but, you know, I mean, I'm a liberal and I don't know what they're doing. They're, they don't tell the truth about anything. They don't care that North Korea and South Korea are, are getting along. They don't care that the Syrian war is over. They don't care that Africans are being mistreated in Libya and all over the world and in Yemen. They don't care about pretty much anything. They just know how to hate and they don't want you to think that way. And they don't want to have a conversation and they don't want to have a discussion and they don't want to have a debate. It's all facts and hate. And we're tired of it. And, and, and I'm just really, really disappointed. And I wanted to, you know, I, I really, like I said, I really don't like talking about people. I don't like talking down about people. I love Chance the Rapper. I love John Legend. I love Hillary Clinton. You know, I have love for everybody. I have no enemies. And I really, I have no hate in my heart for anybody. I, I, all I have is love. And all I have is like, you know, I just want us all to live happily and do our thing. I, I don't, I'm not mean. I take no pride in this. But I am using this scenario to bring up a bigger discussion that I've been bringing up for two years now, that I've been bringing up for eight years now. You could search Anomaly Apocalypse, which is a song I made in 2008 when I was a freshman in college talking about the mind control. I've been talking about it for 10 years and it's finally being shattered and Chance the Rapper helps shatter it 
And then he throws people right back into the mind control. He says, oh, I'm so sorry for telling you you have freedom of speech and free thought. You don't because if you're, if you're black or you're an entertainer or you're a liberal, you're not allowed to think that way. What's more rude, what's more disrespectful and demeaning to somebody than telling them if you're a certain race, you have to think that way. If you're a certain religion, you have to think that way. If you're a certain gender, you have to think that way. If you have a certain mindset, you have to be in that political party. What's more rude than that? I can't ever imagine in my entire life telling people, first of all, I only talk about race when it comes up in the media because in my personal opinion, I say it all the time, I, I have a mindset like Kanye West. Hold on, I need a, I need a drink of water or else I'm not gonna be able to finish this. I have a mindset like Kanye West. And what people are missing about what Kanye has been saying is he, he dropped a lyric in his new song. He said, uh, I say what they say when the mic is off. He said, parents are the strippers, strip kids of their confidence, teach white dominance, question your common sense. What he's saying when he say teach white dominance, question your common sense. Kanye West is saying they mentally enslave you in the sense of they set the stage. They say the word minorities, liberals and, and people, even you know, race activists, they say the word uh, minorities all the time. What do they mean by that? They're, they're putting you in a box and they're telling you that you're a minority. What's more demeaning than that? People have taken pride to that. They say, I'm a, I'm a Latino, I'm a minority. I'm a black person, I'm a minority. I'm a woman, I'm a minority. I'm a, I'm a Muslim, I'm a minority. Uh, you know, people take pride and they say, I'm helping the minorities. I don't use that word because it's setting the stage and telling you you're in that box. I tell you, you're a majority. If you're a good person with a good heart, you know, and, and you have godlike energy and, and people love you like I love you, you're not a minority. I never use that word because you're not a minority. Are you an American? You're a majority. If you live in America, you're the 100% majority. Are, are you a good person? You're in the majority. I think most people are good people. Are you, first of all, if you're Muslim or black, you're not a, maybe you're a minority according to their little boxes that they throw you in, but you're actually a majority worldwide. I mean, there's gonna be more Muslims than there are Christians and Jews in, in like 10 years. So you're not a minority, okay? Worldwide, you know, other races are the minority. So they, they give you this label. I'm not, that's why I don't take the labels, because I, what am I? I mean, what do you wanna make me? Am I a minority, am I a majority, am I privileged, am I that? They throw these labels on you so they could box you in and they act like they're helping. So that's what people don't understand about myself and Kanye West. We're not being mean, but we don't see the world like they see the world. And if we did see the world like they see the world, we wouldn't be as successful as we are. If I thought I was a minority or I told you you were a minority, I wouldn't be empowering you the way that I want to empower you. And he says, teach white dominance, question your common sense. They teach you this in school. This is the trap and the trick of the white liberal. This is the trap and the trick of white America. This is the trap and trick of the school system is they paint this story of history. I'm gonna drop a gem, I'm dropping too many gems, but they don't even tell the truth about what's going on today. If you watch the news today and you turn on CNN or you turn on MSNBC or even Fox News some days, you're not even getting the truth about what's happening today. But you sit in history class and you read these stories about white dominance, uh, like Kanye West said, from hundreds of years ago, and you believe it word for word, you like race activists, they, they clutch so much onto history and they say, oh man, this happened 100 years ago and 200 years ago and I'm so mad that this happened. How do you know? They don't even tell the truth about what happened yesterday and I'm supposed to live my whole life boxed into this little box of what they said that white people did 300 years ago? I don't even subscribe to that ideology. And I'm not saying it didn't happen, but that's what Kanye West says. Parents are the strippers, strip kids of their confidence, teach white dominance. If you're a parent and you're telling your kid you're a minority, you're weak, you're a victim, you're stripping kids of your confidence, teaching them white dominance, you're setting the stage for the white person to be above you. I want to empower my black brothers and sisters, my Hindu, Christian, Muslim, Muslim brothers and sisters. I don't care what you are. I'm trying to empower you. I love you. You're not below white people. That's a trick of the school system and that's a trick of the media to continue the cycle. If they say you're privileged and you're not privileged, they're setting the stage. In my mind, I'm a king. In Kanye West's mind, he's a king. Okay, in Donald Trump's mind, he's a king. So we don't subscribe to this ideology that we're at a disadvantage because we're not where, I don't wanna be where they are. I'm at an advantage. What about that? 
That's what I would teach in history class is you're not a minority. I would teach a history class. You're not, you know, you're not below on the pyramid. You're above on the pyramid because if you can be above in your mind, you can manifest that reality. So they, they act like they're helping you by telling you this stuff. The white man and yours, you're not as privileged as the white man. It's setting the stage for the white man to be above you so that you feel weak and that you feel hateful and you feel disconnected and you feel like, you know, victim mentality and you feel weaker. That's the root of taking away the power mentally. They teach you so much about history because they don't want you to live in the present moment. <clears throat> and the present moment is where the power is. So they teach history all the time and they have all these activists focus on history because you're weak if you're always worried about history in the future and talking about all this stuff that either isn't gonna happen or never happened or maybe happened 300 years ago, it doesn't matter now. You're not focused on your power right now. If you're like John Legend and all you do is complain all the time, you're not focused on the power that you do have. You're not telling people you're powerful. Even if you're poor in America, you're in the upper echelon of, of successful and wealthy. Even somebody with $5 in their bank account is successful on a worldwide scale. If you have running water and clean sanitation, you're, uh, you, you're a minority of privilege. And they won't tell black people, and white people, and Latino people that because they don't want you to feel empowered. And that's what I understand. And that's what Kanye West understands. And that's what nobody else seems to understand is that we don't we don't even live in the same reality that you live in. I get it. You want to talk about history. You want to talk about how weak you are. You want to talk about how much everybody owes you stuff. You want to talk about all the people who have more than you. You want to talk about how you're lower on the pyramid. I don't do that. I don't live in that reality. I don't even see the same things you see. And that's why I'm where I am. If I thought the way you thought, I would never be here. If I thought that way, I wouldn't be able to pull off what I pull off. If Kanye West had no self-confidence and he thought, man, I'm just another black kid who's never going to make it out the hood. And, you know, man, I'm, I'm no good. I'm, I'm just a weak Kanye West, man. Oh, man, these people with different skin color than me, they're so much better than me and they have so much more than me. If he thought that way, he would never be Kanye West today. But he had a good mother, which is probably a huge reason that he was successful. He, has an, he had an amazing mother who really cared about him. Uh, he loves his mom. And he had self-belief. Some people may say he's cocky because he is cocky but it's better than being cowardly and completely weak. So this is what I understand, and this is what a lot of liberal haters don't understand, this is what Trump haters don't understand, is that your mindset can literally alter the future. Your mindset can change your life. Your mindset is literally the key factor in how successful you become. You don't have to be the smartest person, you don't have to be the richest person, you don't have to be the most privileged person, but if you can out mindset people, and I'm not even talking intelligence wise, but I'm just talking about like grateful wise and energy and, and things like, <clears throat> man, I, it's, so, it's so hard for me to breathe out here, I keep getting a sore throat, but you know, how you act also changes the way other people act. If I had a shitty mentality and I walked around hating everybody and being mad all the time and hating America, I would bring out that type of energy in other people, okay? So how you act actually changes how other people act. So I don't have anything in common with people who walk around all the time and just act like everything's random and say, oh, that person's being mean to me. That person, yeah, of course, people are mean. Some people are dicks. But if you change yourself, you can shift the energy among other people. So I have a lot of amazing people. Even in any city I go to, I find a lot of amazing people because I put that energy out. And I don't allow this negative energy to, to exist in my realm. So I find it. But this is the core of what they don't want you to know. Because if, if you realize that your actions can change the world if you can be successful and your self-awareness can manifest itself into success no matter what you have, then you have too much power and you probably won't need to vote for who they want you to vote for. So that's why we say this stuff and, and everyone gets so mad at Kanye and Chance the Rapper says black people don't have to be Democrats and he's forced to apologize. Well, guess what? You're not that woke if you're apologizing for saying a basic statement. And you know who is woke? It's Kanye West because he doesn't live in this world. He's watching Jordan Peterson videos. He's watching Scott Adams videos. He's watching Ka Candace Owens videos. Hopefully, eventually, he's watching Anomaly videos. And, and once Kanye West is awake to that, and he's been awake to that his whole life, I'm sure, 
But there's no going back. Kanye's not going back to the mental plantation, as Candace Owens would say, because it is a mental enslavement. That's what you are enslaving your mind. You are telling your people, you can't think that way. You have to be this way. If you are black, you have to act this way. That's a effing trap put on you by whoever's controlling the media to keep you in a situation that you don't have to be in. If you're white, you have to think that way. Or you're a woman, you have to think that way. If you're Muslim or Christian, you have to think that way. It's a trap. It's a mental enslaving trap to make you think you have to think a certain way if you're a certain gender or race. It's a total... And people like Chance the Rapper, apparently they don't want you to wake up, I guess. They're saying, no, nah, you know, I'm sorry for telling the truth. Go back to just thinking what we tell you to think. And, you know, don't be creative and stuff. And I... I know Chance, I, I don't mean to be too hard on him because he's a great guy and he's, he's awakened a lot of people in his own way. He's a really cool, unique guy and he, he really doesn't care what people think. But he's falling into that, that, that cult-like trap that Kanye West is not falling into and I'm not falling into and Candace isn't falling into and we're never going back there. That's what people don't understand. You want to fight us, there's 100 million people like me, okay? There's probably a billion people like me on the world, so you're, we're not going anywhere. The media acts like we're going to disappear and that we're going to say sorry and we're going to go to a mental institution tomorrow and we're going to come back and just be a total slave again and be like, oh, I'm so sorry for being smart and powerful and empowering people and giving people the tools they need to succeed. I'm so sorry for pe telling people that they're allowed to free think. I'm going to go back to telling people that they're not allowed to free think and that they have to be their race and their gender. I'm so no, we're not going there. We're not going back. We're never going back. None of us are. And there's hundreds of millions of us. So stop trying to fight us. Stop trying to act like we don't exist. Stop apologizing when you say like 150th of what we say because, whoa, I even crossed that threshold and I don't want to seem like a racist. You're not racist. That's more empowering than giving millions of dollars to a school. If you can free millions of people's minds, it's better than school because school is an indoctrination system anyway that just spits people out to think that way. So it, you got to free people's mind. They got the internet, they got YouTube, they got podcasts. These type of things can free people's mind much more than upper education can. So overall, you know, he apologized. That's fine. He, he's allowed to do what he does. John Legend does what he does and Kanye West does what he does. But overall, this is the core of what's going on that nobody's talking about. You'll hear very few people from any political spectrum talk about it, but this is, and, and I'll let Kanye speak for himself eventually, but this is what he sees in us. This is what he sees in Scott Adams and Jordan Peterson and Candace Owens. I'm telling you, because I'm reading what he's saying, I'm listening to his lyrics, and I understand what he's saying when he says, teach white dominance, qu question your common sense, parents of the strippers, strip kid, qu kids of your confidence, excuse me. I know what he's saying because I've, I've thought this way for 10 years. They set the stage for you. They tell you, this is who we are, this is who you 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 are, this is the system, we're here, we're here, the rich people are here, you're here, you need our help. Everything else is racist, sexist, and xenophobic. If you're powerful and confident and you don't need our help, you're a racist. Uh, if, you, if you have like any decent common sense or you have like any sort of worldly experience, like you've actually traveled and, and talked to people, you're a xenophobe because you're going against us. It's a total mind control trap to put people in boxes and then apologize when you crack people out of your boxes. It's such a pathetic cult-like mentality and it's why I was so excited when, when Chance tweeted that, but I don't even care because at least we have Kanye West. At least we have Donald Trump. At least we have myself. We have Candace Owens. We have Scott Adams. We have um, you know, left-leaning people like Caitlin Johnstone and Jimmy Dore and H.A. Goodman and, and Julian Assange. Give the guy's internet back. We have, you know, Alex Jones. We have David Icke. We have, um, you know, Mike Cernovich. We have Jack Pasek. We got Fleckus from Fleckus Talks. We got Trekka. Um, you know, we got tens of people. We got hundreds of people. And I, I'm not even talking political ideology because I named some people who are left-leaning. I named some people who are right-leaning. Free thinkers. People who are trying to allow people to think, people who are trying to have discussions, people who are trying to break the mainstream media narrative because it's so fake. What could be faker than having to apologize from telling a certain race of people that they don't have to be Democrats? I mean, of course they don't have to be Democrats. No one has to do anything. And you have to apologize for telling people to be free? That is a, a complete and utter symbolization of the bigger picture of what's going on, not only in America, not only in Europe, but all over the world, 
and especially on the liberal left, it happens on conservatives too, but it's a huge problem in the, in the extremist left, Facebook, Twitter, Google, like entertainment rap industry. If you go against the norm of what you're supposed to be based on your race or based on your, your ethnicity or based on your gender or based on your profession, you get guilted and shamed and they don't have anything. They don't have an accurate discussion. I've been waiting two years to hear an accurate discussion. I've not heard one. I've heard a few good points, but nothing great because that's the tactics they use. Shame, hate, uh, mob mentality to make people apologize for even telling a basic truth. And this could not be a more perfect example to go on the little rant I just went on, which I've been meaning to go on for a while because I want to free people mentally. And Marcus Garvey said it in the 1930s. He said, while our bodies might be free, we're never going to be free until we free our mind. And then Bob Marley used that quote in the redemption song because it's true. They don't enslave our bodies anymore so they have to enslave our minds so we enslave ourselves. And I'm not saying we're slaves, we live a good life. Even if you have a good mindset, even if you work you know, 60 hours a week, you'll be happier than somebody who doesn't have a job. That's the beauty of the mind. You don't have to be the richest person, you don't have to be the most successful person on what they say the scale of success is, but then those people aren't even happy anyway. You just have to have a, a little decent mindset and you could do anything. You could change your life. You could have fun in any situation because you find out when you move around and when you get to certain things, you find out that money doesn't create all the happiness. You know, you find out that success doesn't create happiness because then you always want more. I got a million views this week. Now I want five million. Now I want 10 million. Now I, I want enough money that I could, you know, retire or whatever. I mean, it's, it's a non going cycle. So the way to be happy and the way to be free is to free your mind and, and, and focus within and be self-aware, and that's the key to almost everything in life, and that's the key that they don't want you to know, they wanna keep you locked, and that's why I'm so upset with the brilliant genius, Chance the Rapper, because he opened the key, he opened the key, he let people free, and then he threw people back in and locked them back up again. But luckily, we have a lot of battle patriot warriors, whatever you wanna call us, um, and people like Kanye West in the industry, which is very important because people don't understand. Him and Kim Kardashian, they could single-handedly destroy the media. They, I mean, you know, we're already, we're already basically shifting the media anyway. But Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, you might not like them personally or musically or whatever. But culture-wise, they are and will shift the culture. Kanye West will help shift the culture. He already has. What he's done is already like a bigger deal. Like the en I could feel the energy. I could feel the dragon energy. It's a bigger deal than almost anything that's happened this year socially. Um, so much so that North Korea and South Korea are literally like at peace talks thanks to President Trump. Even South Korea and CNN thanked President Trump for his, his um, part in that. Uh, and no one's talking about it because this is so important. And it's important because above politics, above policies, which luckily President Trump is not such a politically correct fool, uh, he's helping us in a lot of those areas, is the freedom of all the people because it's not going to be one president, it's not going to be one politician, it's going to be everybody freeing their mind and the collective consciousness and millions of people stepping up from every race and religion and gender and being a better person and being the change that they want to see in the world. That's what's going to change the world and that's what upset me about what Chance did and that's what I'm really excited about what Kanye did. So. Overall, you know, it, we're on a whole. Di we're playing a whole different game. You're trying to tell us to go back home and play Connect Four, and we're playing ten-dimensional chess. No, I don't want to play Connect Four anymore. I don't want to go back in the drawer in the cupboard. Okay, I don't want to go back in the refrigerator. Don't put me in the fridge or the freezer. I'm playing a whole different game than you. Kanye West is playing a whole different game than you. Trump is playing a whole different game than you. Candace Owens is playing a whole different game than you. Scott Owens is playing a whole different game than you. David Icke and Alex Jones are playing a whole different game than you. I'm not saying everything that they say is true, but we're not, we're not simpletons. We're not losers. We're not cowards, and we're never going to be. So overall, I want to say North Korea, South Korea, peace talks. That's amazing. Everyone should be talking about it. 
Chance the Rapper apologized for his tweet, black people don't have to be Democrats. He's a great guy, one of the best rappers and uh, most positive influences in the rap community, but it's a total cowardly act and it just further proves what me and Kanye West are talking about, which is you're not allowed to have free thought and be a Democrat anymore. You're not allowed to have free thought and be a liberal. You're not allowed to have free thought and be in the entertainment industry because there's a mob mentality that it's not, it's not even saying something controversial. It's literally saying a truth. Black people don't have to be Democrats. It's a completely 100% true statement. It's a freedom-based fact. And he's guilted into apologizing. This just proves us all right. And it, and, it, and it really inspires us to keep going because, I mean, you're just exposing yourself. Not in what you say about Trump. Not in what you say about Kanye West. But in what you do yourselves, you're showing us more than anything you say about them. Actions speak louder than words. And we see what you're doing in every little bit of the way. People are being huge hypocrites and proving us totally, totally right that the mind control mob mentality thought police are out and you're not even allowed to say freedom-based facts anymore and they will come crashing down on you. And that's why a lot of conservatives and constitutionalists are holding tights to their rights because we see your mindset, we see your mentality, it's a total race to the bottom and it's a total, uh, it's a total race to destroy all common sense and all facts in the pursuit of emotions, fake news, uh, fake outrage, fake virtue signaling, and public relations. I'm, a, I'm sorry for telling you the truth stunts, and we're just so tired of it. Thank you guys so much for joining. My throat is cr killing me right now. I'm going to go take a shower. Um, appreciate you guys coming. I'm going to post my donation link. If you'd like to support, I appreciate you. It's been a, it's been a hectic, rough month, um, but you, know, you guys have been so kind to me this year on that front. Sign up to my free email list. It's free. We can stay connected. A monthly email. I sent one out a day ago. And thank you guys for supporting again. That's why I'm able to do what I do. Uh, they, they don't want me to be successful in the music industry. I don't care. I will be anyway. I'm going to drop a new rap next week. It's going to be fire. But someone like me, it's like a Kanye. Uh, we're, we're totally different. But you know, you could see in this chance, chance quote, it, it's no joke. Your support really does mean a lot because they try to cut the funding for me everywhere I turn. Any, any social group I go in, I don't have a problem. I have a lot of friends and everybody respects me. Uh, well, I don't know if everyone respects me, but you know, I'm, I don't have a big problem. Like, oh my God, they won't accept me. Like, I, I have a bunch of cool friends doing cool things and liberal, they, they don't care. You know, they love me and I love them. But you know, as far as like work in the industry and stuff like this and even like news industry and stuff, they don't, they don't want me to succeed. They don't want me to win. They don't want me to make money. Uh, but we are. We are winning. We are succeeding. And I have been able to self-sustain myself thanks to you guys. I'm able to go out on the street and talk to people. I'm able to start a podcast, Rare Talk Podcast. I'm able to do this, uh, dedicate my life to this and research for you guys and try to get the truth to you guys. Uh, I'm able to live stream almost every day. I'm able to edit for like 20 hours a week or 10 hours a week. I'm able to film, got a green screen, uh, exciting things. I got to you know talk to Roseanne, maybe do a show with her. Um, so many amazing things thanks to you guys so thank you so much for your support not just the donor box which I'm going to post a link below but the likes, the shares, the comments uh, that means the world to me uh, click see first under like at, at the top of my page it says like and follow if you click that there's a scroll down bar to see all first make sure you do that because as the Facebook algorithm changes they try to make it so you, you can't see my posts everyone's like anomaly I don't see your posts anymore yeah I know they, they changed the algorithm that's fine though we're, we're still winning we're still succeeding and it is mainly because of you guys like I said not just the, the, the donor box support but the fact that our engagement is so high that's where the power is uh, that's what I'm able to take into meetings and stuff you know to able to sustain myself and take our movement to the next level it's because of, of your your kind support and the people you are and the energy you bring and the fact that you guys share all these videos and, and we make stuff go viral every single month and between my two pages we just have the best network on Facebook like these things I, you know I, I almost want to cry I'm so grateful and I'm, I'm partly joking I thought it was funny but I really do mean that I'm extremely extremely grateful and the energy that you guys bring and the authenticity and the realness and the fact that that you're willing to share and comment and talk to me and you know like spread this information this knowledge this wisdom and whatever you know it means the world to me and it's just so so powerful uh, and I appreciate that more than anything thank you so much free email list uh, my links below I'll be back later this week got some interesting stuff coming up and we'll see what happens thank you guys